after the work completed today we are going to discuss about the sap client administration part so as part of this client administration we are going to discuss about the how to create the what is client first of all so what is client so client is a one of the business entity if you want to run the business if you want to store the your business data you need to create the client sir already we have the clients like 000 001 clients which will come as part of the installation can't we use it no why because these are the master clients it contains the it contains the master data master data so we cannot use these two clients for business purpose so that is the reason we need to create a new client we have to create it here right in that client only we have to do the all the business related activities all the business related activities we have to do it all the business related activities we have to perform it here right triple zero double zero one so we should not use these clients so then how to create the client then right so to create the client we need to use the first of all the first step in this topic we have to do the how to so create the client so to create the client we need to use the scc4 is the transaction code to create the client the client naming convert so we have to use the client here other than those two clients you can use any clients for your business purpose here but but before creating the client you need to create a you need to create a the logical system logical system you need to create a logical system so why means to why, why we have to create the logical system to identify the client to identify the client within the landscape so we need a within the landscape we need a we need we need a we need a logical system we need a logical systems required the logical system naming convention is sid clnt and the client number that is the naming convention we have here so why because in each system we have the multiple clients we are creating but database is only one the table is only one then how the data is getting stored into the so database level okay because only one table right how the data is getting stored right based upon the logical system field based upon the logical system field your data is getting stored into the database table level that's why to identify the client data within the landscape we need a logical systems we need a logical systems we have to create it here so in this case how to create it here first of all so before creating the client logical system so why we have to create the logical system means just for example so here this is the sap system right in sap we have the multiple clients one so two so three clients but db table is only one here right database is only one but this client data will store here only this client data will store here only this client data will store here only but all the data storing into the one table level only here right all the data will storing into the one table level only here but in this case then how can we identify this data is related to the which data why because in each client i have the one user i have the one password here one password here one password here right so why because the user management some other details are different compared to the client dependent data those are the client base then how can we store it in the one table based upon the the logical system will differentiate the logical system will differentiate the while storing the data what will happen so this client data this client means 100 client if you take it out then np1 clnt 100 client right then if this client data np1 clnt 200 client data so np1 clnt the 300 client data right so in, like this we need to create a logical systems and we have to assign to the client so when storing the data from sap when storing the data from sap to db what will happen what will happen so based upon the logical system field your data will be segregated so in this case there is no duplicates there is no override 
But because all the client data will store into the one common database level that is called the one common database level, it will store the data here. One common database level, it will store the data, right? One common data, it will store the data here, right? So that's why we have so SAP and DB only one table, but how the all that the, all the clients data storing into the one table level means because of the here the logical system is getting differentiated. Logical system is differentiated. So if there is no logical systems, then here also Ravi user is there. Here also Ravi user is there. Both will be storing into the one table level, which means both are into the one table level, which means there is a clash there is a duplicate data right so that is the reason so we, here logical system we have to create it here so how to create the logical systems here right either say or bd54 or the transaction codes for creation of the creation of the the logical systems here for creation of the logical systems here we have to use the so the sale or bd54 for creation of the logical systems here right so then how to so then what is the naming convention that is the naming convention here so just log into the any one of the user any one of the user you can log in any basis user you can use it then go to the bd54 bd54 is the transaction code just click on the ok button click on the new entry so then you can see it here it already 100 client is there it's already assigned to a different client it's a bd54 so then what you can do just try to click on the new entry then create the logical system which client you are going to create so 100 client so then np1 cl and t so 400 client or 300 client 400 client i am going to create then np1 400 client like that just you can give the naming convention this name anything we can give it but this should be the same proper naming convention so SID, CL and T number. Okay. Just click on the save button. So that's that will be saved here. That will be saved here. Okay. That will be saved here. Right. So that will be saved here. 400 client will be saved here. Right. So this is the way we can create the 400 client here. Right. Or any client. Suppose like 500. So NP1, CL and T, the 500. Then NP1 then 500 client we can create it here right so it's already the 500 client also so how many clients are created here okay 500 also there so 400 500 2 1 2 so 300 is not there let's try to create 300 so np1 cl and t the 300 client so right so np1 so this 300 here just click on the save button here then it will ask the transport request number so just to click on the create or you can use the existing one just click on the create button just to give the description like logical systems creation just execute it click on the save button that's it okay your data was saved here right so logical system so that 300 client got created here so now go to the scc4 is the transaction code here you can see how many number of clients are created here right Yesterday also someone created the so 500 client, right? So then go to click on the display change, display change, change mode. You have to go to the display change mode, click on the new entry, which client logical system you are going to create the 300. Then NP1 300 client here. What is the city? Your city logical system field here. Here, so why we have created the logical system before the client creation? So why because here there is a search bar here just click on the ok button so then automatically it will come so how you got this 300 entry means earlier you created the the logical system field earlier you created the logical system field so that is the reason you got the this 300 details you got it here you got the this 300 client details you got it here so currency what is the currency here so then inr right what is the client role here right what is the client you are going to create is it training client demo client test client development or production right in a landscape in a landscape we have the so minimum three systems landscape landscape means we have the development system so quality system and production system right 
we have the three systems landscape here so we have the development so then so we have the quality and then we have the so production landscape here development quality and the production landscape here right so like this developments done it will go to the quality and quality done it will go to the production here so like that the changes will go from one to here and then to here like this it will go to the all the area here development to quality quality to production it will go to the all the areas here right so that is the way we need to move the changes from dev to cost dev to quality quality to production here production is the main business system here all the actual business will run from here production so not in the development and quality right once the everything is done testing development is done then changes will move to the production production client only all the business users will log in they will do the transactions in this system itself only right so here which type of system you are going to create and what is the client suppose like test client right that is the test client here so while creating the client the client settings also you need to aware client settings also you need to aware here these are the client settings here client settings here one is the client client specific settings only specific to this client only specific to this client only here which means you want to do the changes in this client without any recording so you want to do the changes with automatic recording of the changes you don't want to allow the changes in this client so you can just keep the no changes are allowed changes without transport request you can keep this one here right so if you want to open the client settings means you need to if you want to open the system means just you need to adjust this client settings whenever any request you need to adjust it here this is our property this is our scope of work here right so normally production systems it will be closed so production systems always we have to close it here so then non-production systems like sandbox development training systems except quality we need to close it right so make sure so accept quality and production right accept accept quality and production systems so we need to accept this one remaining systems remaining systems so we have to open the we have to open the client settings we have to open the client settings here accept this one for remaining systems we have to open the client settings here for remaining systems we have to open the client settings that is the very important thing here right accept quality and production for development sandbox training education like that we are the systems sap systems we will install it so sir how can we tell this is the quality this is the development been based upon the client role based upon the rail if you select this one save it here so then then this system is the training system right if you select this one so this one then save it here this is the production system this is the production system like that we can save it here like that we can go ahead with this one here so so that is the thing for the so changes here right so here so test accept production quality remaining all systems should be open status here so we have to suppose customization means development system so development system always we have to do the developments right then close open the changes here right except so development we have to open the, someone ask you to open the client means we can choose either this 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 and anything changes are allowed this is the cross client cross client means cross client changes cross client changes means so so not specific to one client it's uh, applicable for the all the clients right in your system how many clients are there all the clients means repository and cross client customization some customers some people will do the customization from other client to in this client, right? Suppose now we logged into the 300 client, right? Now we logged into the 001 client. So, but we are doing in the so 300 client here. So, we want to allow the changes. So, then if you want to close the client settings, then we can close it here. We can close it here. So, this is the client copy protection levels here. Client copy protection levels means, which means you want to create a client you want to build the client you want to create a client with so you want to suppose 
some other people were copying the data to this client then you want to no restrictions no overwriting if you keep it here they they won't overwrite no restrictions with there's no restrictions they can so they can write the data so like that we have the restrictions we can keep it here right so client copy production levels means security levels so cross client objects and means client independent means cross client means all the clients here this is the client specific means specific to the this 300 client only so these things we have to give it here how the entry comes means logical system name click on the create button then client was created you can see the client was created here client was created here all the changes were made so so now client was created here see here 300 client got created here 300 client got created in the sap systems right so 300 client got created here so any system any system either any product either ecc or s4 or any system our activity is common same transaction code will use it for creation of the client here creation of the client here so scc4 is the transaction code here to create the client here scc4 is the transaction code to create the client here so then before creating the client either sale sale transaction code sale means you need to navigate from one to another go to the basic settings logical systems then to define the logical system like that you need to click it out you need to create it here otherwise if you go to directly bd54 is the transaction code you can directly create the client here you can directly create the client here let's click on the sorry logical system you can create it then once you logically uh, it means first we need to create the logical system then we need to create the client right right this is the step right okay. So logical system is the dependency for the client creation. So before you go ahead and otherwise what we will do, you will go to the SCC4, you will keep on uh, go to the edit mode, edit mode. Okay, so then click on the new entry, then you fill all the details when it comes to the logical system field. So here you will be in the confusion what logical system you have to give it here. So then if you browse it, then you will, there is no logical system here. So then what you can do, you need to create the logical system. Then again, you need to take the one more session. So then again, you have to go to the BD54, you have to create the logical system. Once you've done it, so then again, you have to come to the screen and you have to do that one. So to avoid this type of things, what you can do, first create the logical system, then come to the, the client creation, then that's done. So make sure here, what is the role you are giving the client? So if it is the production, then this is the production client. If it is a test, this is the test client. If it is the demo, demo client. That role depends upon the role. Whatever the role you define here, based on that, whatever the role you define that, based on that, so the changes will be, uh, system will mold that one. System will mold means the system will be dedicated to that respect to the role only here. Right? Production means all business users will log into the production, but no changes are allowed. If you put the production, no changes are allowed to the system. Why? Because production directly, we cannot do the changes. Why? Because if you example, if you take the, if you take the example car showroom, directly car showrooms are the production units, right? Directly we go to the production unit, then we will purchase the car. But we have the manufacturing units are there. We have the testing units are there here. First, testing will done. First of all, developments will done in the manufacturing units, like development client, it will done. Then after that, they will move to the quality. There, they will do the some kind of testings and everything. They will do that one before releasing to the in the manuf the, the production, the, the plants. So they will do the quality assurance testing and everything. Once it is success, then they will move the product to the production, the showrooms directly. They will release it here. So we will go to the showroom. We will purchase it. But we don't worry about the development and the quality testings, all those things here. Why? Because that will be in the different parts, different people will take care of that one. Only we need a word, we'll go to the showroom, we will purchase it here. Same as like here, we will, the users will log in, the business will happen only on the production systems, production systems here. So that's the reason we will log into the production system, we will do the business related activities here, right? So here, our IT team will log in. Why? Because we will have access to the development quality and production. Why? Because our activities come on across the landscape. 
if you do one activity here the similar way we have to do it here if you do it here here if you change the one parameter you have to do it here and you have to do it here as well why because directly you cannot do changes in the production why because you are not sure what will happen how the changes will be how the changes will be impacted in the system right so that is the reason that is the reason we need to before you go do any changes here first we have to do the here then after that testing successful no issues with the production then they will go to the production system here otherwise if you directly go with the changes this change will impact on the other 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 codes other something then entire your business will lost right so that's the reason before moving the change we have the development and quality changes will in place will in place here right so that is the in that is the that is the thing of the development and quality the importance of the development and quality systems but business users they won't log in and they won't do the transactions here they will only log into the production they will do the transactions here right so only her transactional data is extra here but configurations or settings we have to maintain same in the all the systems here all the systems here this is the way we have to create the client then what next after the client creation this is the client settings open or close so this is the one so sometimes you may get the you may get the opportunity you may get the mail from your team saying that so please open the client please close the client for the production systems then in this case we have to go to the here please close the client right just to go to the here then that is the information bar just close the client no changes are allowed no changes are allowed then close it done right data is done it's done no changes are allowed means so no one can do the changes in this 100 client any changes they cannot do any changes here either company code changes either account changes or anything they cannot do it here right so why because if, if you allow in the production changes so directly people will log into the bank server they will do directly do the changes bank account changes something they will do the changes so it's not the recommended approach right so that's the reason so that's the reason that is there is a process we have to follow it here first we have to do the developments quality and assurance okay production so, okay sir that's fine client creation is done then uh, oh, you told that client creation is done logical system also done then now we need to know how to log into the newly created client the next question is called the how to how to how to log into the how to log into the the newly created client how to log into the newly created client here how to log into the newly created client here right to log into the newly created client means so what we are why because you created the client you created the client that is called the 300 client you created np1 suppose if you go to the here so 300 client so then how to log in which user if it is the default users which will come as part of the installation then we can log in with the either sap star or ddic we can use it sap star or ddic we can use it so now just we created manually we created the client then how can you log into the so system then which passwords will you use here right whether ddic will you use then how can we log in here right then how we sap star then how can we log into the newly created client so there is a procedure after the creation to log into the newly created client so we have to enable the sap star means this is called the emergency user activation this is called the emergency user activation we have to log into the newly created client it means we have to enable the sap star emergency user activation we have to activate the emergency user activation we have to do that one right so to perform this emergency user emergency user means sap star the password is called the pass sir how can we possible right it's possible so to activate this one what we have to do there is a small concept will come like profiles and parameters concept there is a so in the client administration you will get the two this is the profile and parameter concept then one more concept will come that is called the rfc administration right so profiles and parameters concept will come why because 
to enable the we have to enable the emergency user activation we have to do it so that once you done it there is a parameter you need to change it to the so true to false or uh, zero to one like that you have to change it then only with the sap star with the pass you can log in sap star with the pass you can log in here our guys already changed it that's the reason you are unable to you are able to log into the 300 client here normally sap star with the pass is not allowed after the client creation why because there is a parameter it will be disabled status here there is a parameter it will be disabled status here so that is the reason here so then how can we enable the parameter how can we change it here right so now so to activate shall i explain the topic so that uh, topic para profiles and parameters topic or will you guys practice the client creation logical system creations and everything you want i can i can go ahead and i can explain the profiles and parameters concept there is a new concept so why we are discussing this concept means to log into the newly created client now how we are logging to the triple zero double zero one how we are logging and doing the other other work same way we have to log into the newly created client right why because in the in the this clients we cannot store the business data only newly created client you have to store the business data then how can we log into the newly created client that is the question then here the question answer is we have to enable the or we have to activate the emergency user activation so then sap star with pass is allowed then after that we can create the new things and everything we can create but how to enable that parameters right so then there is a concept is called the so profiles and parameters concept right so shall i explain or will you guys do the practice practice do the practice too uh, ravi can you just uh, explain the fields in the client creation of client those are the settings again okay client client fields right well yeah while creating the client what are the okay. fields okay while, what yeah. are the use of that those yeah. Okay, so while creating the client, this is the change button. By default, it's in the display mode only. Okay, just click on the create change mode. Sorry, change mode. Then you will get the new entry. Click on the new entry. Then this is the client number. Number you have to give it here. What is the client you are going to create here? Right. So then, what is the name? What is this client is for? So this client is for the so training client training data we want to store the training data training transactions so training members training uh, like the uh, course durations end durations or topics everything should be we will store the business data then in this case i can create the one training this is a training client anything you can give it your name also you can give it just text you have to give it right but as a best practice we have to give the what is this client city city means so this client is located on which city is it uk us Hyderabad, India. So it's Hyderabad, right? Just Hyderabad, India. Like that, you can just maintain full name you have made. What is the logical system here? Sir, I have not created any logical system then here. Then that is what we are telling, right? You need to create the logical system before itself. Then go to the logical system field like BD54. Then which client? Triple line client. We are going to create it here. So someone, else, okay, it's my user only, I think. Logical system. Click on the new entry. So NP1, CL entry, triple line, then NP1. Anything, name is anything you can give it. So that will not give any disturbance. Just click on the save button, right? That is done. So now when you're creating the client triple line, the triple line will come into the picture, right? Now you see triple line, we got it here. Entry, we got it. Select it. Currency. What is this client currency here? Which client is this? Angolian, Australian. So there are a lot of things are there here. So India, suppose India client means, I think there is a uh, Indian rupee, right? Our currency is the INR, right? Why? Because all the transactions, everything should be in the INR only. So because this is an Indian client. What is the client role here? Which client you are creating? Test client, demo client, training client, training, right? Do you want to open the client settings? Changes without automatic regarding. So people can do the changes here. Developers or any other can people do the changes, but there is no record who done what there is no record but if recording means uh, these steps are recorded in the sap system only 
later we can see that what are the uh, ah, changes who logs 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 will be generated logs will be generated who, uh, who did what so yeah, i am doing here but i am not sure who did what during as part of the auditing so if they need auditing do the production then definitely we need the first of non production systems without recording with recording or we can keep it but if they want to do the audit what went wrong who did it and it suppose so after some time in the triple line client i did something i deleted something then when i ask the people uh, so no one is saying that so i have not done it i have not done it then why we ask your client settings are open so it's it's uh, in, so it's 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 saying that automatic regarding of changes so definitely we will get the so log who did it what how you deleted all the information we we will get so based upon the settings we can identify it so who did it what and what deleted and what went wrong all the information we will get it out here so no changes will do means the people cannot do the direct changes in the system client changes anything we cannot do the changes so changes without automatic recording no transport allowed so means whenever you any changes are doing so normally it will create the one request right one request will be if you don't want to create the request then select this one so if you want to create the request and automatic recording you need to choose this one here right this is the client specific same as like cross client also cross client means specific to the all the clients not specific to the one client it's a all the clients we need to check it out here all the clients we need to do this one here cross client it means uh, uh, from uh, 300 client i can change 999 also right 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 9999 object data also we can do the changes that's why if you want to don't want to do the data then just use this one here sorry use this no changes are allowed right this is the production level here so no overriding someone is copying the data from uh, other client to the triple line client then it's a no overwriting means you cannot do the overwriting so which means already data is there you want to overwrite no overwriting here so like that no restrictions means it we can, you can overwrite it here so overwrite overwriting means uh, amend, amending the data or just... existing data will be deleted and the new data will be inserted into the triple line client overwriting so if you keep it no restriction it will be do that one only if no overwriting means no one cannot do any changes in no one cannot override suppose like override means it will come in the client copies concept the tomorrow's concept here what will happen development quality suppose if we want to copy the this client data to the here so then this client should be you kept the client production level as a no overwriting means this client data you cannot copy to the uh, in this client well, because because of the client settings no no one cannot override any data in this client means any data if they cannot copy to the here if you maintain the no uh, overwriting if you if you if you meet if you, if you maintain the zero restrictions so then what will happen what will happen so no one cannot no they can they can override the data means existing data will be deleted the copied data will come into become a active status here right so say no, no it's not possible at a time only one logical system we have to create it here means you can create it one more client multiple people multiple different classical systems you can create it right but i created the 100 you are also trying to create the 100 mains then there is a clash right in the table level two entries how the two entries will be saved into that picker so you have to create the different client another person has to create the different another person have to create the different why because clients we can create n number of clients we can create it here right multiple people like at the same time they can create it so triple nine zero zero two triple nine so up to thousand clients we can create in the one system here so which means already triple zero and double zero one clients already there so nine ninety eight clients so we can nine ninety clients we can create 999 clients we can create in the systems here okay that is the what we can do it here okay so please practice it this client creations so and so please practice it client creation logical system creation and the next class i will tell you how to log in to the newly created client so then after that client copies will come yeah. into the picture here how to log into the newly created client and the client copies will come into the picture here okay 
so i will explain that concept so one more thing if you don't see the sap logon console sap mmc console okay if you don't see sap logon pad is available so put is available if you don't see the people people are asking so like how to add it right so just to go to the windows icon here then here you can see the so the search anyway search button right right side top right side so right side top there is a search icon so just you can maintain the copy so you can just copy it here studio studio is not there pin to start bar pin to task bar here so what will happen this will come to the start bar here also what i did is here if you go to the c drive here there is a mmc just to copy this mmc copy this mmc see it in the c folder there is a mmc folder is there just to paste it here automatically it will come into the your desktop icon simple what will happen sometimes that your desktop icon may be removed so then just you can copy it here we have the icon is there just you can copy the icon here let me copy the sap icon also here is it possible yes sap icon also i will copy it here okay sap logon pad icons also copied here okay you can copy maybe let me copy the putty icon also again i will get the questions but then still done right so in case if you miss it out in case if you don't see these things go to the folder c drive you have the so things here right so you have the sap mmc folder is there sap mmc like what i can do sap icons i can make it as a sap icons uh sap desktop icons desktop icons that it's very simple right so just you can go to the here so just copy the three just paste into the your desktop in case if it is not there just you can paste it here okay Okay, guys. Uh, that's it for today. So, thanks.